Genetic modification, either you are modifying the insect of target or you are modifying a crop that the insect feeds on or you are modifying something that you use to control the, the pest. Now, because the desert locusts feed on anything in their way, we cannot modify all the crops that they will feed on, so that way will not work. Um, it will be difficult to do genetic modification of the desert locust itself, so that also will not work. The, the only plausible way would be to genetically modify biological control agents like fungal spores that are used to control them so that they become more virulent to be able to um, act faster than they, they do against the, the desert locust. So the, there's a fungus called Metarhizium anisoplia, which has been developed, uh, it was developed by the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture to, for desert locust control. And they have a product that was commercialized in the past. I don't know if it's still on the market. It's called Green Muscle. It was developed from the Metarhizium anisoplia. But that is effective, most effective during the recession phase. For outbreaks, it doesn't act that fast, so it will not be able to help during outbreaks. So that's the only one that we may want to genetically modify to become faster acting. Then it can, it can work during out, uh, outbreaks.